Moodle LMS is another widely used LMS, and that's why we've done all we can to make the integration with Explain Everything Whiteboard simple while allowing users to benefit from its most important features. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the integration process and then show you all the ways you can use Explain Everything Whiteboard in your Moodle classroom for a more engaging and intuitive experience. I'm going to start, of course, by showing you how to add Explain Everything to Moodle. It's a quick and easy process. Before you get started, however, make sure you have your integration keys ready, as you will need them. Also, keep in mind that a paid Explain Everything account is necessary to be able to use Explain Everything LMS integration features. So, to add Explain Everything to Moodle LMS, what you have to do is you have to get on your admin account on Moodle. And then here in what we call the navigation drawer, we are going to go to site administration. And in the meantime, we are also going to make sure that we have our explain everything drive open right here on my account because we are going to need the details that are right here in just one second to finish the, um, the integration. So let's go back to, um, to Moodle right here and we are going to go to plugins. And once we go to plugins, we are going to go to plugins overview. From here, we're going to go to what's called external tool mod. So let me just find that right here. And then we are going to click on settings. Once we get here, basically all that's left to do is add our, um, our tool. So we are going to go to add pre-configured tool, which is right here. And from there, all we have to do is add the details um, of the tool that we want to add. So in this case, of course, explain everything. Then we are going to go to this URL that we have right here on explain everything drive prepared for this purpose exactly. And this part we can skip, I think, but then something that's really important is the consumer key, which is right here. And we are just going to add that. And then also we have something called a shared secret, which we are just going to copy again from our explain everything drive. And we are going to um, paste it right here. And then I think we are pretty much done. All we have to do is scroll down to the bottom here and click save changes. And as you can see, our tool has been added. It looks complicated, but it was actually as simple as that. Okay, now that we've added Explain Everything to Moodle, let's move on to the different types of assignments and activities we can now send to our students. We're going to start with project activities. So to create a project activity assignment and send it off to your students here in Moodle, what we are first going to have to do is go to the course that we are interested in. In this case, it is the history course. And from there, we're going to have to turn the editing on. And once we do that, we're next going to go to add an activity or resource. And this window comes up with a whole bunch of different things, but we of course are going to select explain everything. And once we do that, we have to give our activity a name. So I'm just going to go with mind map. And of course, you can fill in all of these other details. I'm not going to do that for the purpose of this uh, of this demonstration. So I'm just going to click save and return to course. And as you can see, our um, our mind map assignment has been added. But now we have to, you know, give our students something to work on. So what we do is we take a look at these three boxes that pop up here. Um, each one of them is a different assignment type. In this case, we're doing a project activity. So we're going to click on assign project template. And then from there, we have to search for our explain everything project. We can search for this project by code or by the name of the project, or in this case, even by like a part of the name, because I don't remember what it was called. Like, I don't remember the full name of the project, but that's okay. It found it for us anyways. And I'm just going to click select right here. And that's that. This, uh, this explain everything project has now been added to this project activity assignment. 
and my students of this course will see it and they will be able to click on it and go to explain everything to complete their work. Let's see what working with Explain Everything and Moodle looks like from a student's perspective. We'll start with receiving a project activity. So as a student, all you have to do to complete this project activity is go to the course where this activity has been added. In this case, it is the history course and you can see the assignment right here. So I'm just going to tap on mind map and then I'm going to tap start assignment and then open project. And when I do that, the project that my teacher has prepared for me will open in Explain Everything. So you'll be transported to Explain Everything and you can start your assignment right here using all of the tools in Explain Everything that your teacher has made available for you. And once you're done, all you have to do is tap submit. And once you submit your assignment, you can just go back to Moodle and that's that. Thanks to your Explain Everything whiteboard and Moodle integration, your students will be able to watch instructional videos you've created in Explain Everything without leaving Moodle LMS. And it's really quite simple to do it, so let's take a look. So to add a watch a video assignment here to Moodle, the first thing that you have to do again is of course go to the course that you would like to add this watch a video assignment to. And from there, we're going to go to turn editing on just so that we can actually add this assignment. Then we're going to go to add an activity or resource. And then we are going to choose explain everything from this long list of different activities, resources, tools, etc. From here, we are going to type the title of our video, which is Henry the Eighth. And I'm going to skip all of these other things, of course, fill them in if you need. And then I'm going to click save and return to course. And as you can see here, this um, watch a video assignment has already been created but we do need to add some content to it. So let's take a look. These three little boxes come up again. This time we are going to select the middle one, watch a video, and we have to click assign video so that we can choose the video from our explain drive that we want our students to watch. Here we can already search um, our explain drive. So we have to add the project code or the name of the video or even part of the name, as I said before, if you don't remember the whole thing, that will be good enough. As you can see here, the video that I created on Henry VIII has already popped up. And all I have to do is click select for this video to be added to this course. Easy, right? Now let's take a look at how all this looks from a student's perspective. All you have to do to complete this watch a video assignment that your teacher has given you is of course go to the course where the assignment was added. In our case it was the history course and we have to tap this watch a video assignment over here and as you can see this little explain everything window pops up but we don't need to leave Moodle at all. All we have to do is tap play and watch the video. Henry VIII was King of England from the 22nd of April, 1509. And that's that. Once you're finished watching the video, you can mark it as done. And that way your teacher will know that you watched the video. That's it. Do you want your students to record their own explainer videos as an assignment? After all, explaining something to others is one of the best ways to learn. So to create a record a video assignment for your students, of course, first you're going to need to go into the course that you want to create this um, assignment for. Then we are going to go to turn editing on so as to be able to add an activity or resource, which is the next thing that we are going to click. And from this long list of things that come up, of course, we are going to select explain everything. Here I'm going to go with something really simple. I'm just gonna call it make a video because that's what we want them to do. And then I'm just going to click save and return to course. And as you can see, our assignment is right here. Now all we need to do is give them the materials to work on. So I'm going to click this assignment 
and once again these three little boxes come up this time we're going to go with of course the last one record a video and i'm going to click assign project template and here you can search all of your explain everything cloud projects so you can search them by code or by name or even by part of the name if you don't remember the whole name which is actually the case right now i can't remember the exact name of the template but that's fine explain everything has found it for me so i'm just going to click select and that's all there is to it. This make a video template or video explanation template to be specific has now been added to the assignment and your students will be able to go to explain everything and work on it. So you got a record a video assignment via Moodle from your teacher. Let me show you how to complete it. So all a student has to do to complete their make a video assignment that they've received um, via Moodle from their teacher is go to the course that the assignment was added to. In our case, it was this history course and we can see this assignment right here. So we're going to tap this assignment make called make a video. And as you can see, this little explain everything window pops up. The next thing we have to do is tap open project and we are immediately um, transported to explain everything where we can start working on this template that our teacher has prepared for us. Adding things, maybe following the prompts that explain everything suggests here, etc, etc. And then all we have to do once we're done is click submit in the upper right hand corner and that's it. Our teacher will be informed that we've completed and submitted our assignment. I hope that this has answered all of your questions about how to use Moodle LMS with Explain Everything. Happy explaining!